I mean, the way I really got into recording my workouts and making videos is I kind of started watching fitness YouTube when I was very, very young. And it was right around the time when I kind of started developing like a mild passion for video editing and like cinematography. So I kind of put those two things together and started to make like videos of myself, like me and my friends messing around going to the gym as a complete hobby, just something to do for fun. And it's pretty crazy. Like that now this is what I'm doing like full time and this is my job and I'm super into it. I would have never in a million years thought that this would be what I'd be doing. One of the keys for me is that training isn't the only thing that I think about. Filming my training has opened my eyes to a whole world of videography, video composition, color grading, editing, and audio recording. All these things are now a huge area of interest for me. And just like lifting, as soon as you find out how to execute a particular cut or get your image to look a certain way, you want to find the next building block to improve on. The next lesson that's going to take your game to the next level. 405. Go right to 405. Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'm going to smack. I'm literally, yeah, absolutely. Go. Come on. Go down fast. Let's go. Go. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh. God damn. Now it's embarrassing. Oh. Well, better luck on the deadlift. Everybody thinks they've seen the transformation, but really they've only seen where I was and where I am now. They don't see the work. I want to show people that nothing happens by accident and nothing comes to you unless you work for it. A cool thing about training it is that you're not only training every single muscle in your body, you're also conditioning your CNS, and when your CNS gets stronger, you can lift more weight on the deadlift and overload every single muscle group. So, a deadlift is pretty much the, one of the main staples in any training program, in my opinion. Dude, remember when you were literally a sophomore in high school? You were the littlest stick, right? The smallest person in the gym, but you'd walk up to the bar and deadlift 500 pounds, and the satisfaction you derived out of literally coming in, a little you're ass, like the yeah, baggiest t just a little kid, depressed. little baggies like, t-shirt, you come in, you rip 500 pounds, and everyone in the gym was like, that kid did not just do that. That was, that was awesome. Yeah, thought it was fake plates. Time. Back in the day. One rep. Get it. I'm still young, and if I'm honest, I'm still learning new things about training, my hobbies, and about myself. But all I know for sure is that I'm going to keep pushing myself to do more. Which is easy when you're doing what you love. Let's go! Oh! Get it! Get it! Get yeah. it! Yeah! Yeah, that was probably a better clip in general. 